Hey guys, it's me again Elise and I'm back with another DY Hair 777 video. <laughs> okay, but this time I decided to pick up their Virgin Indian Deep Curly Hair and I did pick up four bundles and a closure which are in the length 222s, uh, a 20, an 18, and a 16 inch 5x5 five five inch closure. And I absolutely love their closures. Look at that closure. It's just huge and it's not as dense as the other companies. It just looks super duper natural. Love it, okay? So I went ahead as usual and I constructed a wig using the hair. And as with all my bundle hair videos, I'll go ahead and I'll link a video down below of how I make my wigs. You guys are always asking me, how do you make your wigs? And I always link a video below so you guys check it out if you guys want to know how I constructed this particular wig or any of my wigs. Um, but right now I'm just um, spritzing down the hair with using a little bit of water and I'm going to follow up with my Prima Nature's Repairing Oil just to um, tame some of the frizz and add a little bit of shine. Um, you guys are seeing the hair in an unwashed state. I made the wig and I did not wash the hair out whatsoever. I was so impressed with how the curls sort of redefined in itself after even taking the bundles down that I just left it as is. So if the hair is dirty or perhaps anything in it, you know, I didn't really care. I just wanted to show you guys exactly how curly and defined these bundles were and how I didn't even have to wash it to kind of get it to um, redefine itself. I was super duper in, um, impressed. Okay, I can't talk today. I don't know what's going on, but yeah. Um, right now, I'm just going ahead and I'm fixing up the parting space. My hair is braided up kind of like a braid out or a braid, just a potential braid out underneath this so I really couldn't get a straight back part however thank god to concealer because it really helped me out in this time okay as well I just took a wide tooth comb and I just picked through the hair to add some volume and here is what the hair is looking like like I say you guys go big or go home this hair is humongous and I just absolutely love it super duper soft and again I didn't do much of anything to it besides spritzing it down with a little bit of water and adding some oil and it just looks super fresh and soft fresh curls oh my goodness yeah but I live out here in Arizona and it's super duper hot and I do not like hair in my face especially if I'm going out so I kind of want to give you guys a different styling option just in case you guys might want to get the hair out of your face it's kind of like a little updo or whatnot um, but this is what I'm gonna do right now I'm just gonna take a couple of bobby pins and pin down the wig just to kind of keep it secure so it's not going nowhere and now I'm just going to swoop the hair up and out of my face. Going to take a scrunchie just temporarily um, getting that hair to sort of stay up there so it's not, you know, getting in the way. Now you're going to follow up with your scarf and I'm tying it from the back to the front. And I'm going to go ahead and tuck in the loose ends to the very back so that it's, you know, kind of out the way. And pretty much you just kind of create it an updo. It's super duper easy. It's not complex or difficult at all. It's you're basically just getting the hair out of your face. Just the, and, and another thing, the scarf really does absorb the sweat, which is another reason why I want to do this style for you guys. And it's really like um, Caribbean, like beach-like, or if you live in a desert, just sort of safe, okay? Um, again, I just kind of want to bring you guys that style just in case you guys may be interested. So let me know which style was your favorite and I'll talk to you guys on the next video. Bye guys.